find me in a bad mood at the start of this episode. We've had such a good month of October. I thought I was a shoe in for the manager of the month, but oh no, they've given it to Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Ugh, four wins, four wins. We won every Premier League game in the month of October and they've given it to Oli. I am livid. So now we have beef with Oli. Not Man United, we have beef with Oli and with Newcastle, of course. Um, right, since the last episode, it's been brilliant. It really has. Um, a 4-2 win at home against Leicester was a, it was a brilliant, brilliant match. Um, we then beat Braga 3-1 in the Europa League. Uh, Arthur Masawaku, of all people, getting off uh, off the mark for the club. Uh, we then went up to St James's Park and we shoved it in their face. We beat Newcastle 2-1. Pablo Fornals with a double. Um, an absolutely epic, epic game at home against Burnley. It was unbelievable. It would have been one of the greatest life comms in FM history. It was an amazing game. Uh, we went out on penalties, which is annoying. Um, we missed our first two penalties uh, as it goes. And at one point, I thought we might just turn it around, but we didn't. Uh, Saeed Ben Rama got sent off when we were 1 0 up, and Chris Wood then scored a quick uh, two goals in 10 minutes. I made some changes, uh, kept tinkering with it, kept changing the midfield, kept changing the front line, things like that. And we, we got back into it. We, uh, you know, we got it back to 3 3. Uh, sorry, we got it back to 3-2 in front uh, with Adi Amy and Jared Bowen scoring, but Matt Loughton scored an absolute belting goal in uh, in the last minute and it, it goes straight to penalties, of course. And they, uh, yeah, they pipped us, which is really annoying because I really wanted the EFL Cup. I really wanted a good run in it. So attention will turn to the FA Cup now. Uh, but then we went away to uh, the sorriest Premier League club in history, Norwich, and we beat them, sorry Norwich fans, and we smashed them 3-0, a superb hat-trick from Thomas Suchek. And at the moment, we are sixth in the Premier League table, which is mental. It is absolutely mental. I can't believe how well it is going at the minute. Um, and today, we are taking on Chelsea, who are currently third. Uh, at the end of the last episode, when I said we were probably going to do Chelsea and obviously the game against Braga as well we're doing, um, Chelsea were top. Uh, they're not at the minute, and potentially they could end up quite adrift here um, because they're three points behind Liverpool and they've played a game more. Uh, in terms of the Europa League, a win today in Braga, and we are... Uh, where's our group? There it is. Just get it up above my head. Um, a win, even a draw, wouldn't be a terrible result because we've got uh, Omania, Nicosia and Bayer Leverkusen both at home. Um, so, I mean, the likelihood is no matter what happens in Portugal, we're going through because with those two home games, we should get to at least 11 points. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we will see what happens. Right. Uh, I, I haven't been in this safe for a little while, so I'm not sure what the state of the team is that we've got picked. Uh, let's have a look. Lanzini is out. So we've only got 11 subs and even An Angelo Ogbonna. But he's coming back to training tomorrow, so he's all right to be on the bench. Uh, right. Fornals is playing well, but Vlasic... I think I've picked... I think I'm going to stick with this team and I'm going to look to maybe... Maybe bring off these guys. It, it's it's a it's tough because we've got Chelsea coming up, so it is it is tough. Um, but I want this win. I really want this result in Portugal. A draw would be great. If we were three 0 up at half time, I would take probably Suchek and Rice off. But let's see how we go. Right, let's pump fists. We've been on a good run. It's done a couple of the. Uh, the defenders have got happy. Uh, Craig Dawson's playing. He came to me. He wants to play more games. So that's one of the promises that we've got going at the minute. Apparently we're in a lot better form than Braga. Uh, we'll go out and do our jobs. West Ham are impressive against Norwich. Yep, we want to keep playing well. And Suchek is a manager's dream. He is a phenomenal player, isn't he? Absolutely wonderful player. Uh, I mean, we should... I mean, when the group was drawn, it was Leverkusen that were the, the team that we were fearing. But they're bottom of the group. So, I mean, by rights, we probably should win this game. But it's not how it works out, is it? So let's uh, 
Let's see what happens here. Oh! That was a hit from Galeno. He scored. I definitely remember him being involved in the game at, uh, at the London Stadium. I think he scored. I think he scored for them in that game. Um, right, we've intercepted it here. Suchek. Good switch to Adeyemi. And he's played a lovely ball through and it's Mikel Antonio. Mm. Never really got out of his feet. Never got that clear-cut effort on goal. If it had been the other way around, Adeyemi was in. I think we'd have been a goal up there. Ricardo Horta to take this. Headed away by Dawson. Galeno. Oh, punched away by Ariola. But it's Galeno now and he's hit the frame of the goal again. He is ripping as a new one at the minute. Let's drop an early encourage in. Maybe going attacking. I mean, we're getting some shots in. But I'm just wondering if we set if we set two attacking for an away game. Let's see this highlight play out and I might have to just make a couple of little tweaks. Maybe switch it to a balanced mentality. Maybe drop the defensive line. Because they do seem to be getting... Oh, we scored this time. And I had a feeling that was coming. Yeah, they, 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 they seem to be getting in behind quite a lot. Right, let's, let's, let's have a look. Oh, Leverkusen have scored in their game in Nicosia. Where is Cyprus? I think it's in Cyprus, isn't it? Um, it's a completely different tactic to what I play with um, in my Barcelona save. I play a 4-3-3, but I have a centre mid on attack with Carrileros either side. And inside forwards on attack and an advanced forward. So I do play a slightly different formation and the instructions are all, dif uh, are all different as well. We're playing a standard defensive line. Why are they getting in so much? I'm going to put it back down to balance then and we'll see. Um, Suchek and Rice, I found if I switch the roles, if I switch them around, that can help a lot. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh! <laughs> oh, I thought Ben Rama had whipped in an absolute beauty there. As Leverkusen go 2-0 up in their match. Mikhail Antonio, really good play there. Ben Rama. Cresswell, Declan Rice. This is better. We're keeping hold of it. Four nals. Ben Johnson to Zuma. I don't mind this. As long as it ends with us having a shot and it's just not aimless passing and we lose it. Oh. Suchek is claiming a penalty. Got to say, not really sure I saw what he uh, what he's claiming. I think he got. I think he must have been at the near post and got pushed. I think it'll be given. I think this could be a lifeline. It is given. Do we get a choice of who's taking it? Apparently not. Oh, it's going to be Suchek. I probably would have gone with him anyway. Hat-trick in the last game against Norwich. And he puts the penalty away. I think he scored from the spot at Carrow Road as well. But that puts us back level and that's a big, big goal. And I'm going to drop an encouraging on that. Really well taken penalty. Let's see if we can build on that. Ben Rama's not having a great game. Oh! I know sooner do we level and we're behind again. It's Almaz Ratti with the header. That is really poor defending. I mean, he's not even challenged there, is he? Right. I'm going to have to tweak corner defending, I think. Demand more. Ben Rama's having an absolute stinker. Cress over this corner, though. Oh, and Zuma. Free header. 2-2. Two -two. Get in, boys. Never say die attitude. Keeper came for that, didn't he? And got nowhere near it. Look, he's, oh, he's miles away. He is miles away. He's read the flight of the ball and wasn't expecting a huge Dutchman to come in and head the ball in. I think he's Dutch. Kurt Zuma. I think he's Dutch. I always have it in my head he's French and he isn't. I'm sure he's Dutch. 
Uh, Chiquinho though and Ariola with a brilliant save. The game is on fire at the minute. Chiquinho's going to take this. Zuma with a massive header away. That's more like it, boys. Yeah, we 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 kind of hanging in there. The stats are even. We're losing the possession battle a little bit. No yellow cards. Only six fouls in the game as well. That's pretty good. Uh, Leverkusen are winning in their match, which um, obviously we're in the Europa League, so the third place team would drop down into the Conference League. Uh, so, but at the moment, this puts us in an unbelievable position, an absolutely unbelievable position. But we've got to go out there, and we've got to we've got to carry this on. Uh, what was my? Uh, we haven't been the better team. But, I will say, if we can get a goal, I'd make us favourites to win. If we go 3-2 up, I think, we could, uh, I think we could go on and win the game. Adeyemi's got 7.2, but hasn't actually, we've not actually seen anything of him, have we? Uh, ben Rama's going to have to come off. He's having an absolute shocker. Jeremy Boga can come on, which I'm, I'm not happy about. Uh, Adeyemi can come off as well. And I'm going to bring on Yarmolenko and save Jared Bone for Chelsea. I can't remember how many subs I'm allowed. Is it three? As I say, I've not been on... I think it's three because it's three in the Champions League on my Barcelona save. So it must be three. So I'm only going to do two because we're, we're eight minutes into the second half. But it needed changing. It needed changing. And I mean, Boga, he's he's... He's not going. It's going to have to be Ben Rama for the Chelsea game, I think. Now, uh, right? Can we? I'm just going to keep dropping encouragers. We're two-two away from home. We're doing all right. I think Declan Rice is going to have to come off because obviously he needs to play. Um, box to box, I can bring Vlasic on and swap him and Fornells around, and that'll that'll just. Help a little bit, I think. Oh, I can do another one. I can do... Can I do five? I'm sure it's only three in the Champions League. Oh, well, fair enough. Um, we will bring on Mark Noble. But I don't really want him on the centre-mid attack. Maybe we could put him as a ball winner. And maybe just... just Try and maybe protect what we've got at the minute. Uh, Craig Dawson's been booked. Mikhail Antonio's not looking great, but we've got no striker because we started with Adeyemi. Jared Bowen can play up front. But to be fair, Mikhail Antonio, I think he's underrated in the game. I don't think his attributes are all, are all that good, if I'm being brutally honest. Uh, but I am going to bring Ku Fallon for Johnson. There we go. Um... Yeah, I was really looking forward to having Mikhail Antonio and I just don't think he's, he's rated quite as good as he actually is in the game, which is a little upsetting, really. Um, but Adi Amy's going to start the Chelsea game up front, I think. Can we get our noses in front here? I mean, the balance mentality seemed to have worked quite well. We've, we've kind of shut the game down a bit. Um, it, it's got us back on terms and could get us in front here as Yarmolenko whip it whip it whip one oh he's in it's Mikhail Antonio get in what a finish from the Jamaican international I in, in real life absolutely love Mikhail Antonio I just I love it it's the same with players like um uh players that are just too big <laughs> to be footballers, do you know what I mean? Too too muscular. I think like Adama Traore and even Lukaku, you know, just these man mountain of the the bodybuilders. Um, I can um, yeah, I can Fenra, I guess as well. Just bodybuilders that play football and are just ridiculously good at it. It's it's mental. I love Antonio and I'm I'm good that he he went to Jamaica and didn't play for England, but he wouldn't get games for England, would he? Because Harry's there, so. You know, but I love and I love watching Mikel Antonio play. I love watching Lukaku play. Lukaku was my favourite favourite player. Chelsea have broken him, just not using him right at all. When he 
if you watched Inter Milan with him under Antonio Conte, it was unstoppable, absolutely unstoppable. Um, I am absolutely delighted with that. I said it at half time, didn't I? If we get the goal, I would back us to win, and we did it, and we got the goal. And Mikhail Antonio's just given me a little bit, a little bit of a, of a problem now, which I'm delighted with, to be honest. Um, right. Did Leo Levkus and won 2 0. So we, we are. I mean, looking at the goal difference, we're all but through. We need a point from Omonia Nicosia and by Levkusen at home. We need one point. So in terms of on the on the channel, I won't do I won't do a video now. I, I won't do a Europa League game in the video um, because we we're basically through. I mean, if we it up against, uh, I think we've got Nick, I think we've got Omonia Nicosia next. I think Levkusen's our last one. Uh, yeah, if if for some reason we do go and balls it up in that game and it's in the balance, then I would do Leverkusen. But um, oh god, look at that! We've got Money United, Tottenham, Liverpool backed. Oh my word! Oh my word! Um, right, yeah, Chelsea it is then. It's Super Sunday then, it's the big London derby, West Ham against Chelsea. It's um, it's a big, big game at the top of the table. I am desperate to get the points here. Uh, we've also got Man United against Leicester, Tottenham Norwich uh, kicking off after us. Uh, in terms of results the previous day, they are all there. You can pause. Look at that, Newcastle won at Anfield. Um, Liverpool top and they lost at home to Newcastle. That is disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful. Uh, I should have said... Um, we have got the board to agree to improve both youth, youth facilities and training facilities. They're not going to start them. Um, I think they're starting them at the end of the season. Uh, although, I thought I said it was going to start at the end of the season, but it's, it's, they, they've obviously started because um, they're going to finish in March 2022, which is great. Um, in terms of our youth candidates, we get them in March as well. So March is a big year facilities upgraded and um, and we get some uh, some new players which would be lovely uh, right I have made um, I think it's five changes so we've brought in Kufal at right back we've changed the front three and we brought in Vlasic as well so I think it's five um, oh two mat two oh yeah they're fine they're not a problem no problem I think it's five changes Oh, four. Kufal, Vlasic, Bowen and Boga. Oh, because Adeyemi, he played the last game, didn't he? He played out on the right in the last match. So, okay, right. Here we go. Massive, massive game. Um, I have just left the tactic as it is with an attacking mentality and we'll, we'll worry about it in the game like we did in Portugal. We'll just worry about it. If they're, if they're getting in behind, if they're killing us, then we'll worry about it. Um, but it's a pretty close fought rivalry. Play for the fans and it gives a boost. Everyone's looking motivated anyway. Craig Dawson's looking aggressive already. I'm just going to say I want to see a good performance. Uh, home record is always down to the fans. It's never to do with the 11 men on the pitch. Oh, got bad weather, have we? We have got bad weather. Right. I know it's not a great stadium for football. But you know the London Stadium's going to be rocking. I'm going to encourage early doors. Hope that Kufal and Dawson, who were the ones that were looking aggressive, hope they're looking, hope they settle down a little bit. A very, very boring opening 12 minutes. We've had the first shot. There it is. I've got some tired, tired players like Declan Rice, uh, Suchek, Zuma, Adeyemi. They, you know, they're, they're really, really bad. But we've got international break after this game. So I'm just trying to get them through it, uh, to be honest. I would, it's, it, it's annoying that after such a big European game, we ended up having Chelsea. Because uh, if we'd have had a Southampton or, you know, someone like that, then, you know, we, we could have maybe rotated a little bit. But I'm hoping for a good first half. They're playing with us here. 
absolutely toying with us. There we go, Werner's in. And it is 1-0. And I imagine that's their first shot on goal. I think, because that's the first highlight we've seen. And I don't even want to watch it again. Oh no, they've had they've had two shots on target apparently. Okay, we can encourage again. We can encourage again. Maybe we'll switch. I, I did change it to a positive, uh, to balanced. I thought I'd, I thought I'd left it on attacking. We switched it up to positive now. Uh, Rice and Suchek are not playing brilliantly, so I might change that around. Change those two. But this is better. It's Jeremy Boga. Oh, it's a great ball, Jared Bowen. Oh, what a finish! Jared Bowen makes it 1-1. The fans go wild. This is a great ball from Boga. And it's an amazing finish. I, I mean, he was on his favoured foot, on his left foot, and he had the goal to aim at. And I thought he was just going to blast it or place it into the corner. And to chip it in off the bar like that is just ridiculous. <laughs> it really is ridiculous. Their formation scares me. Their, their formation really scares me. That is an attacking formation. Um, Boga, Rice, come on. Vlasic. Look at all the space there for Kufal. Oh, he's going to hit one. Oh, he put his laces through it. He just, that was a right back finish. That was a Gary Neville finish. He got a rush of blood. Uh, I, if in January we do end up losing Declan Rice which I don't want to do because I have also gone to the board and I've got them to um, to increase our percentage of transfer revenue retained from 50 to 65%, which is good, but that's uh, that's still going to be factored in if we do receive any offers for a big player like a Declan Rice. Um, but I have identified as his replacement um, Pasalik, I can't remember his first name, the guy at Atalanta, wonderful player. Uh, so he is the one, and he's a fraction of the price as well. He's a few years older, I think he's about 26, but he looks like I'll get him for like 15 million. So I would be absolutely delighted if we could get him. Um, do I need to make any changes at the break? Uh, yeah, Declan's looking terrible. He really is not looking good. Centre mid on attack. Wait, it's Pablo Fornals then. We will bring Fornals on. And he's looking aggressive. Why is... It's Derby Day, isn't it? Everybody's looking aggressive. How are the subs looking aggressive? Has, it been, has there been shenanigans on the, on the, um, on the, t on the touchline? Here is Fornals. Oh, and he's got an assist. <laughs> Straight away and Jared Bowen scored again. And we are in front. Come on! I am absolutely loving this West Ham team. The potential in it is amazing. And in in real life as well, they've just... Um, I don't know, has it gone through? They were, they, they're selling like 25 to 50% of the club for around about 170 million, aren't they? To, with a view to it going through as a, um, as a full takeover in the next year or two, which... Which is interesting and, and kind of highlights what I'm doing in um, in this save. I, I want that jeopardy of the takeover to come in because uh, I, I I would love love to have a takeover and survive as Timo Werner at the second time of asking puts it away and it's two two. Yeah, so I've got that jeopardy of, that, of the take. I haven't had any news items at the minute. I've had no indication that there's any sort of takeover possibility in the in the rumour mill. Um, but it, it's it's likely, isn't it? Um, unlucky Ariola there. Right, hour mark. Substitution time. I don't. I can't take Aaron Craig. Oh, he's knackered, but I can't take him off because he's set piece god. Adeyemi's done nothing. Bring on Antonio. Oh, Sue checking the box to box. The only player that can do it is Mark Noble. But he could probably go there and just be the advanced playmaker instead. Half an hour to go. 
I don't. Have I even? I don't. I've not even done a shout out, have I? Come on. I mean, a draw. I would be loving a draw right now. Can't do any more subs. I am sure it's only three in the Champions League. It must be five. Right, they've made two. They brought on Jorginho and Andreas Christensen. Drop another encouraging. Here's Cresswell throwing into Boga. Martin Noble. Across to Kufal. In it goes. Oh, I thought Antonio was going to get his bunts on that. And it's going to be a counter-attack instead for Chelsea. Pulisic to Reese James. Pulisic. Well marshalled. Well marshalled indeed. But we're not going to get away here. Timo Werner and Ariola. He's offside anyway. But Ariola's reactions there were really, really good. I'm tempted. I am tempted to shut this down for the point. We've got the KG 4 3 3. Which I guess we could do. But if I. If I put Noble on defensive midfielder on defend and just drop him right back. I will just try and see out the last, I mean, 10 minutes with injury time. Jeremy Boga picked up an injury. That's not good. It's a fair result. 2-2 two is fair. Looking at the stats, it's been a good game. This is a fantastic result again. Really, really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. Beautiful. We're unbeaten in in four matches now. Two three nils in the last episode. A three two in Portugal and this two two. Um, Aaron Cress Aaron Cressel didn't have a great game, but. It, it happens. Chelsea move up to second. We stay sixth. But it's a huge, huge point. Um, because we've already drawn against Man City. We got battered at Arsenal. We, we've we got Man United coming up. We've got Liverpool coming up. Um, but getting a couple of points out of the out of the top teams is, is pretty good. Got to be happy with that. Um, oops, what have I just done there? Uh, I don't like having the friendlies listed. It annoys me. Um, I mean, in the Premier League, we are unbeaten in a hell of a lot of games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven unbeaten in the Premier League now since we got pumped to Arsenal. I am extremely, extremely happy with that. Really, really happy with that. Um, in terms of the next video, I'm not actually sure when it's going to be to be honest I am thinking we'll do this little Burnley Southampton um, I don't really want to do Tottenham and Liverpool away because we're going to lose them both <laughs> and I don't want to do Man United at home so I think that's what we'll probably end up doing but yeah whenever I come back I mean, if it does go wrong on a match day five in the Europa League then I will come back and do the Leif Cusen game but it shouldn't do we basically need a point at home to Omnia Nicosia. If we don't get that, I'll be fuming. Um, so, yeah, smash a like on this for me, guys, as always. Oh, they are from Cyprus, look. Um, yeah, smash a like on this one. Uh, hit subscribe. Turn on those notifications as well. This season is going brilliantly so far. I'm really, really happy. I'm really loving this save. It is fantastic. I hope you are as well. Uh, jump in the comments, as always. Uh, and get in the description for the uh, link to my Twitter. And I will see you very soon for the next episode. Thank you, as always, for watching.